Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys to any of you having a hand day Santa Fe guys and you need to test your intake runner solenoid valve guys. Today with us we will explain how to test it, how to find out if it's good or bad, if you have a problem related to intake runner guys, solenoid, always test them before you actually replace them because uh, it could be something else that will not cost you almost any money to fix it and we will explain what it is. So make sure you stand till the end. You don't need to remove your engine out. We have it out simply due to the fact that we'll be making uh, hundreds of videos guys and videos that can potentially save you thousands of dollars so let's explain how to test that solenoid now so this should work on Hyundai Santa Fe generation 2013 all the way to year 2016 guys with a 2.4 GDI engine. Now let me introduce you to the channel quick. Every single car we get at the garage we try to make at least 2 to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart, we show you how to fix practically anything guys. Why we do all that? Simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. This engine, okay, will be completely taken apart, transmission will show you how to fix almost anything on it another thing if you need to buy any parts or tools guys okay check out the link in the description of the video below and you can see where we get all the tools and parts from for a really good price and quick shipping as well that's where we get all our supplies from so this right here okay this is the engine and uh, before we start let me tell you guys if you have a Hyundai with a 2.4 GDI engine or other cars check our main channel how to repair guys we have helped more than 110 million people guys we have information that can save you time thousands of dollars so let's start on it now we specifically yes you have right here the 2.4 gdi engine but even if you have a different engine procedure will be practically the same guys for all of them so let's explain now okay how to test that intake runner solenoid and find out okay if it's good or bad uh, it's pretty simple guys this solenoid what it does it's controlled by vacuum so the vacuum goes to the practically to the intake okay right there underneath it pokes to the intake on the back it has a valve that uh, doesn't let the vacuum leak out of there so it's a one directional valve then that valve uh, that uh, vacuum hose comes to here and from here it controls the uh, that actuator but uh, that's all not what it will do just open and close so and now from that point guys how are we gonna test that you have two wires it doesn't matter guys uh, where you put positive and negative you can switch them but if you touch these two together while we have a 12 volt supply you will burn it and you will need to replace it for sure then so how do you do that now guys okay alligator clips make your wife a little bit safer okay so you can go ahead and try to do that we use them all the time and we'll try to put the link in the description of the video below where you can get some alligator clips from so uh, check it out okay here it is now this is guys the valve when you touch it guys okay when you touch it to the car battery terminals listen now it should open and close so let's come close and listen now It opens and closes but that doesn't mean anything the valve itself may not be uh, mechanically maybe opening and closing electronically excuse me but mechanically it may have uh, something that's preventing it from opening or something that prevents it from closing all the way that can cause a leak so we get a balloon guys okay we get a balloon now we're going to install it on the inlet side and it should hold pressure of the balloon not to leak out at all when we open it the balloon should start deflating and air start coming out of there okay listen now and you can see while i hold it open the balloon slowly deflates guys that means that the valve is working when i stop it it just stops so that's a good working valve guys you want to make sure that it closes all the way when it's closed it opens all the way when it's open and make sure that it actually opens and closes as well so hopefully guys the video will be helpful to any of you trying to figure this thing out thank you for watching and see you guys next time